Recursion 1 parent bit. Given a string that contains a single pair of parentheses, compute recursively a new string made of only of the parentheses and their contents. So for example, x, y, z, a, b, c, and 1, 2, 3 will return the parentheses a, b, c. Next there is x, hello, will return hello in the course parentheses, like so. And here there is parentheses x, y, and then 1, so this will return the parentheses x, y. So essentially what it's telling us to do is delete all of the characters to the right of the string with the parentheses and to the left of the string with the parentheses. I think I actually said that in the opposite way, but I think you understand what I mean. Um, basically, we are just isolating the string that is made of the parentheses and the content within it, and then we will return that string. So one way we can do this is, like I said before, narrowing it down uh, from both sides until we have this final resulting string. So here is what I mean. For example, if we have this example string, um, the first character is A, the last character is S. Neither are the characters um, that we will have in the end. Of course, in the final result, we will have an opening parenthesis in the first <clears throat> as the first character and then a closing parenthesis as the last character, like so. So because neither are that those, um, we can just delete those and then recur um, parent bit, and then we will continue forward. Of course, now um, having deleted the. Why is this computer lagging? I apologize. Um, so. My computer seems to be lagging. Now it seems to work. Okay, so. Having deleted the first and last character because we do not need them, we will have this resulting string. So finally, next we have this resulting string. Again, the first character and the last character are not what they are supposed to be, so we will recur, recur forward. Now we will have C, X, Y, Z, S, like so. Next we have this string. And now to write most, right? A most character is a closing parenthesis. This is what it will be in the final result. So we should keep this, but this character is not an opening parenthesis. Therefore, we must delete this. Therefore, we will recur like so. Having deleted the first character, we will get this xys in parentheses. Now we have a string with content and a parentheses on either side. This is, a, is of course, the string that we are told to return. Therefore, we will just return that string. We'll return that string. Okay, so um, again, the general idea is that we are isolating that last, um, that final resulting string um, and then returning it. Okay, um, yeah, so let's actually implement that. So first, we'll check if the string is correct. So before we do that, let's get the first and last characters before, um, just so that it's easier to use them later on. So those are the first and last characters. If the first character is equal to um, an opening parenthesis, and the last character is open equal to a closing parenthesis, then we have reached the final result that we are looking for. Therefore, we can just return str. Next, if the first character is equal to a close uh, opening parenthesis, but the last character is not equal to an closing parenthesis, then we will be um, keeping the first character but deleting the last character and recurring. Um, this means that what we are doing is keeping the first character, um, deleting the first, last character, resulting in this substring. Next, we will check if the first character is not equal to the um, closing, the opening parenthesis, sorry, um, but the last character is equal to the closing parenthesis. If this is true, we delete the first character, but we keep the last character, resulting in a substring, like so. In the final case, we would have um, both characters will not be equal to an opening and a closing, and neither will be equal to an opening closing with the other not being. Essentially, what this means is that both characters are not equal to an opening parenthesis or a closing parenthesis. They are not the result that we are looking for. If this is true, then we will delete um, both characters. Um, so we will be deleting both characters, 
and that substring will look like this. And that should work. There it is.